the engine now rises, so too the excitement. This is DTM season 2016. Lights out, let's go racing. Paul de Resta with a brilliant start. Augusto Farfus has bogged down Maxime Martin and Gary Paffitt and Farfus go three abreast. Who will come out of there ahead? It's gonna be all it's gonna be Maxime Martin. Yeah, look at the lead though. Paul de Resta is flown away, hasn't he? <laughs> Absolutely perfect start for the pole sitter. He's got him. He must have needy a second on them. Spin further back there. And uh, that has caused Carnage. Jamie Green has got off into the ground. The biggest idiot I've ever met. He's already a stupid idiot. Let's see it on board from Esteban Ocon. Right. So I think. Jamie Green just caught up in that. Like he got a knock from behind yeah. before it sent yeah, him into you're, Spangler, you're right. didn't it? You're right. Maximilian Gertz then from his on board. Avoiding everything here. Well, Jamie was doing his level best to try and avoid, wasn't he? But it wasn't going to happen. That's on board with uh, Corn, isn't it? Who um, was kind of the sandwich in all of that, wasn't he? Bruno Spangler clearly not very happy right at the start of this race. <laughs> right. <laughs> Easier said than done, I think. <laughs> Gonna have a lunge here, isn't he, Gary Paffitt? Down the inside. Can he keep it? Can he keep it? Yes, just about second place. Gets a little tap for his troubles on the way out of the corner. But the Mercedes ahead of the BMW. And now he's got to try and give chase to Paul de Resta. OK, so uh, Farfus then has got past uh, Martin. And uh, next in his target sites will, of course, be the Euronix Mercedes-Benz of Gary Paffitt, which is running in P2. Here it is, Chris. Yeah, this is how it happens. Fairly standard move under braking DRS. Uh, will have been used there, of course, as well. They get 57 uh, uses of DRS. Oh! Some... Matara with damage. Well, I don't know whether that's damage. It just looks like the door has become dislodged, doesn't it? It's the course like window, isn't it? It's the window of the car which has become dislodged. So in now comes Paul de Resta. 3.3 seconds to beat then. That's what uh, the stop time was for Gary Paffitt. Well, the HWA team standing by to receive the uh, race leader Paul de Resta then. They rehearse and they uh, practice these pit stops we put in graphics on the right-hand side of your screen where Gary Paffity is relative to where Paul Duresta is. And I think there was a bit of a problem with one of the Duresta mm. tyres. Yes, there was. This could really play into the hands of Gary Paffitt. 3.4 seconds slower than Gary Paffitt's stop. And he was only, what, two and a half seconds in front of him. Yeah, just manage your pace, manage. With a good gap to Augusto. We are racing Augusto. OK, Paffitt in for his drive-through now. Manage your pace. And Paul Duresta being told to manage his pace. Clear track now. There wasn't any contact, but it was mighty close, wasn't it? It was jolly close. If you can stay in front this lap, if you can stay in front this lap. He wants to stay in front of all laps, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, look at that, from one mirror to the next, Augusto Farfus, because of this fantastic onboard shot that we can bring you. He's not going to, is no, he? No, t is coming through, DRS deployed, and ahead. So, up to second place for Timo Glock, Farfus down to third position. OK, mate, if you can, maintain the gap, and let's get the DRS next lap. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, we said it was a speeding blue bullet, didn't we? Coming through the pack. My oh, goodness. Oh, he's going for it first time here. Around the bank section there. Fabulous. Oh, this is great driving, isn't it? In the meantime, it's been a faultless drive, hasn't it, from this man, Paul DeResta, who has just one turn left to do before he takes victory at Hockenheim in DTM. Race two. Paul de Resta wins. <laughs> so we stay with this. I mean, we've got to wait a little while, haven't we? Because he's so far ahead, but... No, there's no change. No. Close. Very close.
Ooh. I still think that was a fantastic drive from the Brit, wasn't it? Following a drive-through penalty uh, to finish uh, P5. In full then, the result, Paul Resta taking the win from Timo Glock, Augusto Farfus, Maxime Martin. Then it was Gary Paffett with a remarkable drive up to P5. Robert Wickens, Tom Blomqvist, Nico Muller, Marco Wittmann, Martin Tomczyk, Mike Rockefeller, Eduardo Mortara completing the first page. And then it was uh, Maximilian Gertz, Adrian Tombe, Christian Vitoris, and uh, then all the cars that uh, sadly didn't make it to the end of the race. You know, we've had a very strong car all weekend. The boys last night were up to half five repairing the car from a technical issue. I owe it to them. You know, they gave me a car to get out there, but um, I think I need to dedicate this one to my son. The first one he's come to. Um, it's been a great winter, fully focused. Some people said you'd be slower, but um, maybe it's the difference. Okay, then, Drivers' Championship. And uh, Paul De Resta on 37 points. Robert Wickens on uh, 26 points, so you were absolutely right. That's uh, put Paul de Resta at the uh, top of the chart, hasn't it? Eduardo Mortara relegated to uh, P3 now.